Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Wolf Bite channel. Today's video is covering the games from the V8-Bit Retropolis challenge that my brother and I completed. And to start the video, we're going to complete our Retropolis pay to win skin collection. The last skin I have left, I'm not really a big fan of. Um, and I wasn't going to buy it, but I feel like I'm also do it since um, I'm only missing one skin for those juicy pins that come with the full collection. And let's see if we got a creator code entered. We do, we got Brawlify. Um, at least we'll use that one until we get our own maybe someday. My brother's actually working on a stats program for Brawl Stars. That's a really interesting tool if you like to think of the game from an analytics perspective. So I'll link, a, I'll put a link below for his video in the description below. All right, and let's go ahead and get this, uh, this kind of weird bake sale barley. All right, nice. So we finished our Retropolis collection. We get all those juicy limited pens, as OJ would say. This one's on the house. And I don't think those pens are animated right now, but I'm sure they'll animate them in the future. So unfortunately, <laughs> I can't record the first game of Heist from the challenge, uh, but we got a victory. And I can't record it because I forgot that my Griff is not at 400 trophies. Oh, oh, oh. Um, just never take the time to push them. So instead, we'll go ahead and skip to the second game where I actually do have a brawler above 400 trophies. And here, so we're playing Edgar Ash Bell uh, with a random. And I decided to go Edgar over Griff because Edgar uh, is really good at taking out squishies. He's pretty um, meta and heist right now. And I could jump over walls and stuff to take out any throwers that they may have. And it turned out to be a really good pick because they picked Primo. And I feel like Edgar counters Primo with the life steal. Um, so I guess it, it worked out. Although I was a little nervous about playing Edgar because I don't play a whole lot of aggro brawlers. I tend to play more support. Um, but I do play Edgar in Showdown. He's my go-to brawler because he's easy to get kills with. You just pop a gadget, jump on top of them, and get the kills, and they can't get you. And you can see here, I'm just going pretty aggro, trying to take, trying to distract them. And I think this is the first time my brother was playing, playing Ash. Um, or, it, I don't think he plays Ash too often. Uh, but as he was playing this, he realized he plays very similar to like a Reinhardt in Overwatch. So, and Reinhardt's one of his main characters, one of his main heroes. So, I think it worked out pretty well. Here we pretty much got the game in the bag. He's not really. There's no way they're going to be able to catch up to us in damage. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple game. And Freddy wrapped it up. Alright, going into game number three in Bounty, and I kind of like this map. I wasn't sure how I would feel about it, um, but I think it's a, it's actually a pretty solid map. Just enough walls, not too much craziness going on. I really like more of the simple maps. Um, nothing where they got like weird cover and I don't know. It, it, for me, like the maps like that kind of don't make the game fun to play in, in any sort of game, not just Brawl Stars. And I've been practicing Brock lately, so I decided I wanted to go Brock. And my brother is pretty goaded at Stu, so Stu is a pretty uh, go-to character for him. Um, and the first, <laughs> the enter, the start of the match didn't really seem like I've been practicing Brock because I kind of got clapped there. But somehow we're still ahead, it looks like. And 
wasted my super there. There, just gotta hunt for the ash. Corner her. Pinch. That was a pretty poor pick of Frank, I think. Um, you're not gonna be able to get close with all the, the long range going on. The, the long range brawlers, Bell, Piper, Brock. Heck, even Stu is long range compared to Frank. And if there was a lot of grass, kind of like Sneaky Field, I could see maybe picking a Frank, but Bounty, I don't think is Frank's forte. Um, their Brock and, and Bell had to do the carries if that's what they were gonna do, but look at right there. Oh, double kill. Good job, me. That, uh, oh man, Freddy's got a cool stew pin. Dang. I wish I had cool stew pins. But we did get those pay to win Retropolis pins, so I can't wait to show Freddy those. Alright, going into game number four, decided to stick with Brock because I felt like I did it pretty good after the initial minute or so of that first, of the match prior. Alright, there we get the clap on 8-bit. And I'm still debating what star power I like better for Brock because I feel like since you can get your super so fast, fourth rocket might be a pretty good choice. Um, but then the incendiary, just the damage is nice. Although the damage from the incendiary doesn't um, help charge up your super. So I don't know. Still debating that. And I really like Brock's second, the other gadget, the jump gadget, but I feel like just the the big rocket is just so good. You can open walls and make the map how you want to make it. And just like I started off with these matches here, just wanted to open up their grass so they couldn't hide, and we had a better chance at seeing them coming before they could take position. I don't know how I feel about this Spike pick in Bounty. I, I really like playing Spike, but I don't play him that often because I feel like he's so weak. His, um, even though he can do a lot of damage, I feel like his uh, reload speed is just... It doesn't make up for... It, like, it just detracts so much from his DPS. That, and because he's so squishy, you take a long time sometimes to with your actions per minute or per second probably in the case of Brawl Stars um, just so just walk normal reload slow and if you miss a shot or if you just get one little spike on them it's kind of I feel like it's not really worth playing spike but that's right we had the stew carry and the Brock carry here all right so the first game of knockout and I don't know how I feel about Knockout as a, as a game mode. Um, I kind of like the deathmatch aspect to it. Um, but I, I definitely, I guess I just gotta get used to it. And maybe when it was introduced, I didn't really like too much the maps. Uh, I definitely had a problem with a lot of the maps. They, they seem kind of gimmicky and just kind of for fun. So a map like this one, I kind of like the mode a little bit more because uh, it's more of a normal type map I guess not gimmicky and not uh, just kind of outrageous to play in where you need very specific tactics to win or luck of the draw who picks a, a better brawler for that map and again here with my gadget just trying to open up the map stop that dynamite from being able to hide behind walls uh, stop the, the piper and brock from sniping us although because this bow isn't giving any pressure I don't reload fast enough to keep up pressure for him uh, so they kind of cornered us a little bit but we're able to get that kill and then here we go with the double kill I probably could have saved that but I wanted to solidify the win I didn't want to risk anything Dang, that Piper got a lucky shot on me. 
Dang, I don't know why we didn't go for their Brock. It seems like he was just AFK for a little bit. A Piper can do so much damage if she gets two shots in. Oh, the Brock's just hiding. Okay, he's not AFK. <laughs> the one patch of grass. Dang, unlucky. Somehow the bow gets 2k right here. Oh, his mind's clutched. Yeah. And we thought he was going to be able to clutch it with uh, just him and the Piper. All he had to do was just stall. But he ends up wasting his minds. And throwing them where she's not at. Ugh. He could have saved them in the middle. He doesn't have the pay to win bow skin. The underworld bow and Horus bow. With uh, the increased explosion radius. Dang, that Piper really, <laughs> really showed him. <laughs> that's right. The map's open. I should be able to do a lot of work here. That Dynamite is the one that's been giving me the most trouble to see hide behind those walls. I gotta back up Freddy here. Not let the Brock get him. Well. Oh, he's going after Dynamite. However, I can't stop the Piper, so unlucky. Piper gets gets the stew. We got 2v1, so th this should be an easy victory as long as Bo just doesn't give, a give up a free life to the Piper. But if he does sacrifice himself, I'm kind of ready to go in so I could take advantage of her slow reload speed. And I'm trying to just zone her out with my incendiary. I don't want to get too close because she... I think she slightly outranges me with the Brock rework. And here, Bo, I was kind of waiting for Bo to go in and tank a shot or two because he's tankier than me, but uh, nah, well, it doesn't matter. He came in at the right moment. We're able to get the kill and the dub. Moving on to the first match of Hot Zone. I was debating whether to play Byron since Byron's pretty pretty meta and OP and almost everything right now. Um, but he's also a lot more high skill and Coco is tankier so I felt maybe that was a better choice and my brother convinced me to play Poco because of the splash damage, the splash radius and stuff, the pierce damage. And um, I am more comfortable with Poco since Poco was like one of my original favorite brawlers um, when the game launched. So I've, I feel like I, and he, I feel like Poco is really easy to play. You pop your gadget on your tank, keep him alive, and uh, it's really hard to miss a shot with Poco unless they're out of range. So it was a good call by, by my brother for me to run Poco. And certain certain moments of this match felt like a 4v2 because this uh, <laughs> um, our third player here, the Surge, isn't really doing anything. Uh, he should be trying to get his his power up levels, but he's just sitting there on the on the circle when that's really my job as a Poco, and he's supposed to be zoning out the enemy on offense. But I don't understand. Looking back, I probably should have done Screeching Solo of the Star Power. Um, but I really wanted to focus on getting heals and for my brother. Uh, so I went with the heal Star Power. Alright, so this is game number two for Hot Zone. Since um, our first pairing worked out really well, we decided to stay Ash and Poco. And I was 
we felt pretty good with the Jesse pick over that, that Surge. Because Surge can be good in hot zone, I feel like. But you really got to be disciplined and staying alive and getting your power up. Um, plus, this match is a little bit long range. And, po and Surge is a little... It takes a while for him to get his range. So it probably wasn't the best pick for this match. But the Jesse, we felt a lot better. She could zone out with the turret, get a lot of splash damage if they're all clumped up. <coughs> And kind of lucky for us that the enemy Penny doesn't have the fire on her star power for her turret. Um, or else that fire would have done a lot of zoning out for us. And go with the Freddy doing work. Just gotta play him like Reinhardt. <laughs> and go crazy. Start swinging that hammer everywhere. Oh, that game went by really fast. And the next game on Gem Grab, our first match we had lost, but that one I feel like was, I guess I could play it, but I feel like it's kind of boring to watch. So we'll just go ahead and move on to the next match. The second game of Gem Grab since we lost our first game, thanks to the Lou that didn't pull his own weight. Um, that's cool. That's why you have three losses instead of one <laughs> and here uh i know the dynamite wants to stay behind those walls so i'm looking for an opportunity to start blowing up the walls and um and open up the map so he can't just hide behind them um but i also learned from my mistake that i probably shouldn't have focused immediately on opening up walls because then i just waste my ammo on the walls instead of zoning out brawlers so i try to hold off on um, breaking walls up but I'm still looking to do that when I can, so that way we can we can have the advantage with the open map. Man, I keep missing shots, man, that's terrible. I don't know why I can't aim side to side sometimes. Uh, I could have saved the Freddy if I would have just hit one shot and I missed like two or three. It's over. The fight is over. It's over. The fight is over. Hey, you guys, the fight is over. Hey, well, at least I got that shot to keep our gems though and then just have to protect Freddy since he's got all the gems dang I'm so jealous of that stew pin such a nice pin all I got is the angry Brock and I always forget to flex it I don't want people to think I'm angry all the time Game number three for Jim Grab, and we got another Penny on our team. Not the same Penny, but Penny seemed to work out last time, so I guess you can get a lot of value if they all clump up and you're just shooting straight down the lanes. And there's no thrower, so that's a good thing too for us, because uh, Dynamite can really just wreck Brock if he's behind those walls. I am trying to be cautious of this Byron, because um, even though Byron is I don't know I feel like Byron can, can really take out squishies really easily um, so and I think I'm not sure if Byron outranges me or if we have the same range I think his range is like a tile or two longer but I know I gotta watch out for that but they got two aggro right there and my super I was able to get those KOs and Freddy's gonna finish off this uh, nope dang I should have gone in should finish that Brock. Hey, but it's okay, we're still up anyways. I'll be careful with the, the super from Shelly. And here I'm just worried about zoning. Don't want to go 2v1, waiting for backup. My brother gets here. 
Let's see, that Byron, he gets two shots on a squishy and you go down really fast. And this Penny Turret is actually doing a lot of work. Zoning out the, the, the enemy Brock. is OP. And that concludes the video for our 10 and 1 B8 bit Retropolis challenge. Hope you all enjoyed and catch you next time.